today we're going to take a look and see if we can discover the, the formula for the volume of a sphere. Now, one of the first people that were really interested in this relationship between a sphere and a cylinder was a man named Archimedes. And he lived in the third century BCE, and he was so interested in math and geometry that he would often forget to bathe and his friends would have to like make sure that he took a bath. Uh, and he really adored this relationship between uh, a sphere and a cylinder so much that he had his friends um, make sure that this was engraved on, a tomb, on his tombstone, a sphere and a cylinder. So we're going to use the cylinder to help us find the volume of the sphere, much like Archimedes did. So let's see what the relationship is. I'm going to fill my sphere with water. And then we'll pour that into the cylinder and see how they relate to one another. There we go. Got that nice and full. What I can see is that our sphere filled about two thirds of this cylinder. So let's think for a moment here about what that means for volume. So we know that this is two thirds of a cylinder, so we do need to multiply it by two thirds. And we can take the area of the base, which is pi r squared, and we can multiply that by the height. And the height here is actually the diameter of the sphere. So we can then call that our, our height here. And here we've got a formula that the volume of a sphere equals 2 thirds uh, pi r squared times the diameter. Now, when we do uh, formulas in geometry, we don't usually deal with diameters. We deal with radiuses. So let's change that a minute here and let's do 2 thirds pi r squared times 2 radiuses. Okay, so let's do, we've got one more simplification we can do here. We want to get all our number values together. The, so the volume of a sphere equals 4 thirds, I can get, simplify that 2 over there, uh, pi and then r squared times r is going to be r cubed. So the volume of a sphere equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. And it's all because of that relationship to that cylinder. And this is exactly what Archimedes discovered all those years ago. Maybe you'd like to calculate the value of this um, sphere's volume.